Okay, as you know, it's my birthday today and I got myself a present very thoughtfully and so I'm 51 by the way so you know it's locked down so you can't really do much for your birthday so I thought I'd better buy myself something um, so I'm gonna open this and show you what it is so I left a sort of when I got this I checked what the contents but I didn't really you know so this is the proper unboxing and um, so Let's get it open. <laughs> so I've got that side. I got this from a UK seller. And I was sort of making a big deal about what it was on an earlier video saying, can you guess what action figures these are? So we've got it open. So the first figure we got is this green character here so I've got all four for 90 quid the graded loose it's a Star Trek the Next Generation Sealy 1988 Galoob it's graded U90 it's a really nice figure First one I got, so I've got the sea lane. Second one I got, so it was a set of four, it was the four aliens, Antican. Great looking figure there. Also graded U90 gold, figure gets 90, uh, paint 90, Antican, Galoob. Great looking figure. So this, these two are in the same episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. I bought these from a company called Kent Emporium. He had them listed on eBay. Uh, yeah, on eBay for there's a queue for 120. But if you bought it direct from the shop, you could get it for 90. I thought that was a great deal. Star Trek The Next Generation Q, 1988 Galoob, again U90 Gold, great looking figure. Q's obviously, this is Encounter at Farpoint. Very cool figure. So I've bought the four aliens in this set. The last one. It's the Ferengi. It's a great figure. Look at that head sculpt. And this one's the only one that comes from the accessory. It comes with their whip that you see in the TV show. Star Trek The Next Generation Ferengi 1988 Galoob Archive Number blah blah blah. Again U90. So for four U90 graded figures I paid £90, that included shipping, so that was a great deal in my opinion and you know, really it was a no-brainer, so I definitely am very pleased with what I purchased for my, myself on my birthday, and yeah, so these are great figures, so you've got the Ferengi, you've got the Antican, You've got Q and you've got the Sile. So they look great together. So four great figures, all you 90s. Just looks so good. Here's Q. Obviously they stopped doing U, U grading now. So these have just been taken off cards and graded straight away. There's the Ferengi, great looking figure there, and the Sile. Such great figures. Just look fabulous. You know, because like I'm collecting the, the Mego um, Star Trek 
aliens from the 3.75 uh, motion picture line. I've got four of those, and now I've got these four. I mean, these are far more harder to find than the um, regular characters like Picard or Riker. I mean, Data's got variants though, so the Data's from, and the Tasha Yar, she's a bit harder to find. But, but I mean, if you're in the States, this set's quite easy to put together. All you 90s. Just a great set. I mean, I've known about these figures since about... 93, 92 actually, when I bought that Star Wars and Star Trek collector's book and these were in it. So finally I have these. Next set. So great deal. I mean on card in the UK these go for about 50 quid each or close to about 40-50. So it'd say about 200 to put the whole set together. Whereas I've got them all loose graded, mint examples. Just looks so good. Frangi looks amazing. Sile looks great as well. And yeah. So I'm very pleased with these brilliant figures. So that's my birthday present to myself. Uh, huh. What can I say? Great figures. Definitely if you're into Star Trek and you want to get a cool subset of figures, the Galoob aliens from the 88 line are definitely worth picking up they're well made figures Star Wars sized this looks so cool okay so I hope you like looking at that 